Hello, welcome back to another video. So now we're in week two of our stay in Italy. Um, so here we go. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah, yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Right, so now we're in Vercelli. I'm gonna go down to the gym now to see if I can sort something out, like a day pass or something. Because last time we came down here, I did a week. Maybe a day pass is not gonna be ideal for the gym, but let's just see what they say. So tomorrow I'll be doing like 110 kilo bench and then 190 kilo deadlift. So the bench will be for single and deadlift will be for a nice double, hopefully. Because recently I've had these issues with like misgrooving my reps and deadlifts. Like when the weight starts to get a little bit heavier on the heavier aspect of things, I, t I, t I tend to get pulled out of position the way I set up it with very high hips. And that's probably why it happens. I've had a few changes of the way I set up, bringing the bar a little bit closer to my body. Not to my body, closer to my shins. So hopefully that's sorted out a little bit. I came to this gym last time, um, a few months ago when I came to Italy. It's actually a really good gym for what it is. They have, I could SPD, so I could squat, bench, deadlift. The actual equipment itself is okay. Um, they've got machines, it's just techno gym machines, so it's not the greatest. They got cables, so that's cool. I can do cable stuff, um, but no leg press. The leg press for techno gym is horrible, and also leg curl, the worst thing ever invented. I just thought of coming down now to get it all sorted out before tomorrow because I don't want to really waste time with everything. But yeah, now I'm here. Let's see if they let me in or not. And we're sorted. Um, that was faster than I thought, to be fair. So £10 for a day pass, pretty much average price. Over in Rats, so we've got some do a lot of things like swimming, eating, a lot of eating, and also going to the gym, which is really, really good. Um, I'll probably spend too much time in the gym, probably on holiday, but what a shame. I like doing it, so I can do it. And then I also had to do a bit of college work, which didn't take too long. It's now the morning, and it's time to go to the gym. So here we go, the last training session of the holiday.
<laughs> okay, so yes, I was meant to go back to England. However, my flight got cancelled. So there's been a change in plan. I'm staying in Italy for an extra like three days. As I'm staying here for an extra three days, that's made it a little bit more complicated for me because I've got like seven days left until I go back to college. So I'm gonna have to do loads of study in Italy. And then with my, with my training, I'll be going to the other gym again. I'll do my, my squats, my bench and my deadlifts. But yeah, going back to the actual flight being canceled, I don't know why that happened. They didn't even tell you why, they just put on the screen, canceled flight, and they left us to our own devices. So there's like 150 people just left there in the airport, having to book new flights, hotels. We're lucky we've got a place to stay, but some people don't. Um, but yeah, that's happened quite often now. I think it's like one in 20 flights getting canceled by EasyJet, which isn't ideal at all. I don't know what's going on, because EasyJet used to be a fairly rubbish company. And then over time, it's like, Built a good reputation. In fact, it's got its whole terminal um, over at Gatwick, which is pretty good for them. And then now out of nowhere, they've just fell back down again to the start. Um, hopefully that changes. I think coronavirus didn't have a good effect on them, but we can't do anything about it. So now we're back in Italy for an extra three days. Fun. <laughs> I'm going to get some work done now for college, but before that, I'm going to be talking about my training, that last session, because that was a very weird one for me. So I went for 110 kilos on bench, uh, as you see here now, and then out of nowhere, I kind of failed. I don't know the exact reasons why that happened. It may be a strength reason. It may, it may be a strength purpose. However, I did 110 like last week, and that was really, really easy. Um, it could be down to just the day I wasn't strong enough, not enough food, not enough sleep, new bench, so many different things. Um, but for me, I'm going to put strength as a top priority as I don't want to use excuses. However, the other factors don't contribute in any, don't contribute positively in any shape or form. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably repeat and try and do 110 kilos again this week. Um, if hopefully if I go back to underground I'll take 110 if I don't I'll probably play a step and do 105 but underground I definitely will be able to do 110 I think um, but with deadlifts they go really good I did 192 and a half kilos for two um, and that that was really good so that was a good PB I was an overall PB in fact um, not just volume so what me and my coach have seen is with my hips I try and put them into an unnatural position which we thought was natural, obviously. And then when I start pulling every single time, I have like a forward weight shift. So my hips rise and my body goes over the bar a little bit more. So we thought, well, maybe let's try and set a higher hip position a little bit over the bar. So I'm gonna see how that is gonna be tomorrow's session actually. If it's good, if it's bad, there's no harm in trying. And it's nothing major because we don't want to make any major technical changes, especially at this period in time, because right now we're in like the last week of the block until we do a deload. So we want to keep everything nice and linear and all the same. But with weight, how much I'm going to put on the bar, I have not got a clue. The prescribed RPE is an RPE 8, so I need to do something in that region. <sighs> So it could be any, anything between like 195 to, I don't even want to say 200 because I don't want to overshoot, but maybe 200, but I want to play it safe. So if it's 195, let's do 195 and keep it like that. But I'm very happy with how everything's going in terms of the training, can't complain. <clears throat> so after 17 days, we've finally made it back to England. I'm so glad to be able to train back at underground. But on a different topic now, when it comes down to social media like TikTok, maybe Instagram, I'm taking some time away from that. Because I feel like, especially with TikTok, I just spent so many hours just scrolling through it and posting loads of random videos that don't even make sense. So I'd rather have time off there and then come back and then post better stuff. Probably more inclined to my training. Uh, maybe just do some footage of me lifting and put some text over, like, you know, to those type of videos. 
and don't make those really sus videos, which by the way, do get you so many likes. And then with Instagram, I use it, I post on stories and stuff, not my training. I'm not gonna post any of my training on Instagram. Very small people watch my videos right now. So I'd rather those people, they can see my strength gains. The other people, they don't need to see it. And so I'll come out of nowhere and I'll be deadlifting like heavyweights, hopefully. But yeah, finishing off with like that load of ramble, waffle, all the things going in my head and just a conversation with the camera. This will be the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed. I've tried to break it up a little bit, make it more interest, interesting and engaging. All right. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.